So for the past six or seven days, man, I've been playing Genshin Impact. The game came out a day early. It was supposed to come out on the 28th, and it came out on the 27th. And man, any chance I get, I've been playing. Oh my god, the game is so good. The game is so damn good for a free-to-play game. The game is out on all platforms besides Xbox. Sorry, Xbox players, but you can't play this shit. The game is free to play, man, and it's better than majority. And I'm serious about that. The game is better than the majority of AAA anime games out there, bro. And the game looks so good. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, the game looks so damn good, yo. Oh my goodness. I can't. I keep staring at the damn environments because it looks so good. And then when the sun when the sun starts to set and it gets all in your face, man, the shit looks so good, man. And climbing, oh my goodness, climbing in this game, I can't stop climbing. Every time I see a wall, I just want to climb on some shit. I just want to climb up to the highest point and just stare at everything and just look around the environment. It is just so good looking, damn it. Oh my god, man. The best thing I can really compare this game to is Breath of the Wild. I know a lot of people get angry when you say this game looks like and plays like Breath of the Wild. But look, man, it is what it is. This shit is Breath of the Wild. This is just a poor man's Breath of the Wild because it's free. It doesn't cost you any money. It's free. So I call it the poor man's Breath of the Wild. We can't afford a real one, so we got to go with this option. You know, it's the PlayStation uh, phone version, PC version of Breath of the Wild, man. It is what it is. I'm just calling like I see it. But I have ran into some issues though. You know, on the PS4 version. Well, I had the PS4 Pro and I ran into frame rate dips, especially in the beginning when you're running up the hill and climbing on rocks and you see the waterfall. If you go inside there and stare at that waterfall, the frames will drop like a damn rock in water. That shit will sink, bro. Them frames would dip like 6 FPS, man. That shit be. God, boy, that shit be slow, man. That shit be ridiculous, okay? Real talk, fix the damn thing, okay? Fix the frames, please. You can't have a good game with fucked up ass frame rates. And the stuttering, oh my god, yo, every time. This is like every time. Since the past six or seven days I've been playing this, I always run into this. The stuttering, oh my goodness, the stuttering, damn it. Please fix the stuttering. That is so annoying. And it happens frequently. Frequently, okay? It's not like the, the frames. The frames will dip every time you go and look at a waterfall. That's about it. That's about it. Or when there's a lot of enemies on screen, then the frames will like dip suddenly, but like it'll come back up. But the stuttering, that shit never stop. Ever since I've been playing this, it never stops. The stuttering is ridiculous. That shit happens frequently. Please fix the stuttering. Because it's kind of annoying, especially when you're in combat and it starts to stutter. Oh my god, you, you gotta fix that shit. You gotta fix it. But that's really the only issue. Well, actually, nope. I I just thought some more issues that came to mind. The glitches. Oh, God. Glitches, man. The glitches with the enemies. So, I had happened one time. I was in a dungeon. And I was fighting the enemies. So, when you run inside this door, the door, the door locks behind you. So, you gotta fight the enemies and the door unlocks, right? So, I was fighting these little... I don't know what you're gonna call these damn things. Peppermint things. These little flaming jail looking enemies. And I was whacking them things. I was whacking them motherfuckers, whacking them. And then, then it started to run away. It started to run away, and I was chasing them. Then it went through the wall. It went through the wall, and somehow they just disappeared. They just glitched out, of, glitched out of existence. And I was stuck in that room because I couldn't kill the enemies because the enemies ran through the wall. So I was pretty much just stuck in that room until I had to restart over again. Then when I restarted the game, that's when the enemies reappear, and then I killed them, then I got out of the room, got the door unlocked. That's not the first time that happened to me. That happened multiple times. Not the, not getting locked inside the door. Multiple times where the enemies would just glitch out. I had one instance that I didn't record, but it, I was playing it, and I was fighting this big ass, I don't know what you want to call this thing, the mammoth? I don't know what you want to call this damn thing. Um... I was fighting it and I was beating it. I was like I was seriously beating the hell out of this thing and he was just walking away. He was just walking away and I was beating the hell out of it too. Like I'm serious beating this thing behind his head and they just walking off. Just walking off. And then when it got back to the spawn point where it was in originally, his health completely refilled. I had to beat on him all over again to get his health down to, to what it originally was. I didn't record that because I wasn't recording at the time. But that shit happened, and that's very irritating when it happens. So can you, like, 
I don't know, send a patch, please. Send a patch, because that's annoying when the enemies just be glitching out like that. It's very annoying. That's really the only thing I've been having troubles with with this game. Everything else works pretty fine besides the trash ass. I'm calling it what it is. It's gambling. I hate that damn gotcha system. I don't like it at all. I hate gambling and I hate using coins to spend for shit. I can't stand that system. I hate it. It's a, it's a casino. I'm calling it what it is. It's a casino and you're gambling for shit, okay? So when you're going inside this thing, you got a wishes, right? You got two sets of wishes. You got the wishes for the beginner banner. And you have another wish for the, um, I think, limited time banner. And you use those wishes to, to gamble pretty much. You're gambling for these characters, five star characters, and uh, four star characters. Then you have the weapons, no five star weapons, and all that. And you know, they own a percentage. So you don't can, your percentages are pretty low to get these damn five star characters. I think your chances are a little bit higher when you're going for a four star character and the five. Five star characters, it's, it's just your chances are so goddamn low, it's non existent, honestly. I think it's like a 5% for the four star, and like shit, 0.01% 0, 0 for a damn five star character. Yeah, it is that low. I'm not exaggerating, it's that damn low to get a five star character. But then you have like a, a pity system implemented, so if you roll, I think 90 times, you're guaranteed a five star character, something like that, man. I don't, I'm be honest with you, I really do not really use that system. I spun once. I actually I think I spun like 12 or 13 times. Actually, no, 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 no. I take that back. I take that back. I used like 13 wishes. That's what I used. I spun only like three times. And that was pretty much it. I got the guaranteed character. I think her name is like Noel. That's the guaranteed character you can get when you spin in the beginner banner. And that's pretty much it. I ain't, I, I see fuck that shit, man. I'm not gambling. I'm, I, that's, that's, that shit is not for me. But other than all this shit that I've mentioned, the game, man, it's really good. I recommend anybody to get this game if you like Breath of the Wild. Maybe if you like Tales of games, you know, Tales of Vesperia. Especially Tales of Vesperia because they got the same art style. I highly recommend you get this game if you like Tales of Vesperia or at least Breath of the Wild, man. Because the game is really good, man. And I keep getting distracted in this game. I, it is so easy to get distracted in this game because you got so much shit. So much shit to explore, man. I suppose we're doing a main mission. I'd be like, okay, let's go do this main mission. I run over to the main mission. I run over there. Then I see something in the corner of my eye. I'm like, oh lord, what's that? What's over there? So I go over there. Like I, I literally run across the map. The main mission literally be right there, very close by. And I'm like, what's that over there? Then I run way across the damn map. And then I see, then I just get lost in that section of the map, you know. Then I run into high level bosses. I ran into a, like a ruin guardian, and I was at level six. Five and level one, I think. One of my characters was at level one, and a ruined garden was at level 20. And I fought that thing, damn near got beasted, but I won though. That's, that's the thing like you just run into, man. This game is really good, man. Really good, besides all the issues I listed. The game is still good. I highly recommend anybody who likes Tales of Games or Breath of the Wild to get this game, or at least give it a try, you know. And 10 gigabytes right now, so it's not that big at the moment. But eventually, you know, as more shit gets implemented, patches and new characters or costumes, whatever, then the gig's probably going to grow. But other than that, man, I highly recommend you go ahead and get this. Try it out. I highly recommend you go ahead and try it out. You're not missing much because you're not spending anything, you know. You're not spending anything on it because it's free to play. The only people who's missing out on it is Xbox players. Sorry, Xbox players, man. Y'all been getting shafted, so I was just getting shafted, man. Maybe on a new Xbox Series X or Series S, get you an impact, maybe we'll go on there. But, yeah man, I love the game. I'm going back and play some more because it's just that damn good. So, I'll see you on the next video. Peace!